hello beautiful people you're welcome once again to my youtube channel my name is bola if you're coming across my channel for the very first time you are highly welcome on this channel we do tutorials on cutting and sewing grafting of patterns okay so please before you go kindly click on the subscribe button like and share my videos i will appreciate that thank you and to my returning subscribers thank you so very much god bless you richly thank you for the immense show of love i have experienced lately i'm not taking any of it for granted god bless you amen so today we'll be doing a jumpsuit a palazzo jumpsuit we'll be cutting out a palazzo jumpsuit i have my measurements here These are my measurements for my jumpsuit. I'll be working with bust 48 inches, waist 45. They have bodies half length of 18 inches. And for the trouser part, because the jumpsuit consists of uh, two parts, the upper bodies and the trouser parts. So for the trouser parts, I'll be needing the hip measurement, the tie measurement of 30 inches, the knee measurement, 18 ankle 13 and then the length of 44 inches though is a palazzo jumpsuit i'm i will not be including the nail and the ankle the nail and the ankle measurements okay but i just included it for us to know the measurements we'll be needing for drafting the trouser pattern all right so these are my measurements once again. I hope you can see it. Okay. So, I already have my fabric cut out on the table. I'll be drafting the hopper. I'll be cutting for the hopper bodies before we go over to the trouser parts. For the trouser parts, I'll be in including three. I'll be adding three inches. I'll be adding three inches to my allowance because it's a jumpsuit. The three inches we make room for, we give it more space. It will make it to be more relaxed and comfortable when we put the jumpsuit on. Okay, so I'll be increasing my measurements for the trouser parts by three inches. Anyway, when we get to the drafting or cutting of the, of the trouser parts, I will show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's move over to the cutting table and and uh, let's get started thank you so i have my fabrics for the helper parts i'll be cutting both the front and the back piece together this for the front panel and this for the back panel so you will notice that the back panel is bigger than the front panel because I'll be attaching zipper to the back, this I have two inches for my zipper allowance. Okay, so if you are using a zipper for your jumpsuit, you must give room for the zipper allowance. So I have two inches for my zipper allowance. Okay, so this is for the front and the lower one is for the back piece. All right, so I already have my line ruled out. This is the shoulder line the bust line and the waist line so i have one inch for the allowance the allowance to join it to the trouser part so i have one inch on it okay so the first thing i'll be doing is to basically insert the neck design the shoulder measurements and the arm hole measurements okay The shoulder measurement I'm working with is 16 inches. 16 divided by 2 is 8 inches. I'll be adding half inch allowance. From the 8.5, I'll be determining my ham hole. I'm using 9 inches for my ham hole measurements I'm 
I'm going to connect it. So for my neck design, I'm using five inches. change my tape so I'll be using five inches for my neck width and the front depth of three inches the front depth of three inches and the back depth of five inches So this is the front, this is the front, and this is the back. The deeper one is the back. Oh, okay. This is the back and this is the front. So I'm going to drop for my shoulder slope. I'll be dropping one inch for my shoulder slope. to the hand hole line to determine the midpoint so we are left with eight inches after dropping one inch for the shoulder slope we are left with eight inches i will determine the midpoint which is four inches on the four inches to graft for my front hand hole i'll be going in by 0 0.5 This is for the front arm O. And for the back arm O. So this is the front arm O. It's usually deeper than the back arm O. This is so just to avoid excess fabric around the armpit area. Okay, this is the front arm O and the back arm O. So, having done all that, we move over to the circumference measurement. My bust measurement is 48. My bust measurement is 48. I'm going to include 48 inches. Then my dart allowance, 1 inch dart allowance. Then 2 inches. For this sewing allowance two inches sewing allowance my waist of 45 inches 45 divided by 4 will give me 11.25 okay 11.25 can take 11.5 my dart allowance though i don't really need the dart allowance or the bust line because i'll be taking my dart one inches one inch below my dart okay so my dart allowance of one inch on the waist my dart allowance of one inch on the waist and two inches sewing allowance And two inches sewing allowance okay i'm going to connect 
the lines together I'll connect like so I don't think I'll be joining this because it's a fabric okay but I'm drafting on the wrong side I'm drafting on the wrong side okay okay so I'll then insert my dart measurements I'm going to insert my dart measurement to determine where you will place your dart you will have to know your nipple to nipple measurements the your bust pan my bust pan is five inches I'm going to take five inches the bust pan measurement I'm working with is five inches I'll take five inches and on the bust line I'll go down by one inch. I'll take five inches. I'll be going down one inch. So on both sides, I'll be taking half inch, taking half inch on both sides. So I'll connect to the one inch, one inch below the bust line for my dart. I'll be connecting to the one inch below my bust line, okay? Okay, so I've drafted for my dots and I've taken my allowance and all of that. You can see that it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty straightforward. So I'm going to notch this point. I'll, I'll notch then I'll cut out. Okay. I'll first of all cut for the back before cutting for the front i'll cut out for the back before cutting for the front okay but because the neck knife for the back is deeper i'm going to leave out the neck for now i won't be cutting the neck for now because it's deeper than the upper part so i'm going to leave it for now So I already cut out for the upper bodies. So this is for the upper, this is for the front panel, and this is the back panel. The next thing I'll do is to move over, I'll set this aside. I already cut out for the neck design, the arm hole, arm hole for the back. So I'll just trim the excess here for the front panel okay i'll set this aside i'll move over to the mid part to the i'll move over to the bust line Going to go in by half inch at the bust line. I'm going by half half inch. I'll, I'll connect it back to the waistline this way. I'm going to cut this piece out so when attaching my zipper it will make the zipper to be more relaxed so I'm going to cut this way 
So I have a quarter for the back. I have my notch here for me to know where I'll be inserting my darts. And I'll just trim off this excess on the upper, on the front panel. So I'm going to set this aside to cut the trouser parts. The fabric you'll be using for the lower parts, I use my hip measurement divided by 4. Hip measurement divided by 4. My hip is 48 divided by 4, which is uh, 12 inches. And I added uh, 3 inches to it. That is what I use in cutting out my fabrics okay so the total length of the jumpsuit i'm working with is 62 inches that is the total length of the jumpsuit and we already have 18 inches for the upper bodies so 62 minus 18 we are left with uh, 44 inches so our jumpsuit the trouser parts will now be taking the remaining 44 inches okay so i have uh, 44 inches here I have 44 inches there, so I'll be using the remaining inch for my folding allowance. I'll be using the remaining inch for my folding allowance. Okay. I already have my lines ruled out. Because we are making a jumpsuit, we'll be adding 3 inches to our line. We'll be adding 3 inches to our measurement. So, I have 9 inch here for my hip line. This is the hip line. I will be using 9 inches for my hip line. I'll be using 15 inches for my crush line. And in determining the crush line, I use my hip measurement divided by 4, which is 12. And I added 3 inches to it because it's a jumpsuit. We will not want to make a jumpsuit that will not be comfortable while wearing it. Or we won't be able to sit well or bend over. Okay, that's why we are increasing it by three inches okay then i have my knee length though i told you that i'm using i'm making a palazzo jumpsuit i won't be using i won't be needing the knee line okay i just put it there for illustration purpose okay having done that i have my line here on the side this will also serve as a guide for me okay the having done that now the next thing we'll be doing is to insert our hip measurements. I'll be inserting my hip measurements on my crush line. I'll be inserting my hip measurements on my crush line. And my hip measurement is 48 divided by 4. 48 divided by 4. Please note, only your hip and your waist measurements will be divided by 4. The tie measurement will be divided by 2. The knee measurement will be divided by 2. And the ankle measurements only the hip and the waist measurements will be divided by four okay so uh, when the when i divide my hip measurement by four i have 12 inches so i'm going to note the 12 inch inches let me bring it closer on my cross line i'll be taking the 12 inches I'll be taking the 12 inches and I'll make it into a straight line. I 
on the crush line I took out my uh, hip measurements on the crush line which is 12 inches I made it into a straight line all the way up okay so on the same line I'm going to take two and a half inch on this other side I'll be measuring 2.5 inch to this side I'll be taking 2.5 inch and on this line to the hopper line I'll also be taking 2.5 inches so I'm going to take my cuff I'll be cuffing I'll be joining the two points together this now is our crush uh, length this is our crush length I hope you understand what I just did on my crush line to determine my crush line I use my hip measurements divided by 4 plus 3 inches because it's a jumpsuit we had it I had three inches to it my hip measurements is 48 48 divided by 4 gives me 12 plus 3 inches because it's a jumpsuit that is 15 inches so for my guideline rule I made the 15 inches into a straight line I made the 15 inches into a straight line so on the cross line from this guide guide line that I drew I took out 12 inches for my hip measurement the quarter of my hip measurement my hip measurement is 48 divided by 4 is 12 so I note the 12 inch on my crush line and I made it to a straight line for my crush length this line now is my crush length on this crush line towards this side I also noted 2.5 inches I noted 2.5 inches to this side and on this crush length I went up also by 2.5 inches so I'm going to take my cuff now to connecting the two points together I'll be connecting the two points together okay so because it's a palazzo jumpsuit I will just take this all the way down. I will just take it. If they have the EE, I will take it all the way down. So this is what I'm having at the end of the day for my palazzo. I'll then move over to the waistline to the time I will be taking my waist measurements. I'm not taking that on this pants. I'm not taking that on the trouser. So when you want to take your waist measurements, you take your waist measurements from your crush length. You take your waist measurement from the crush length. The waist measurement I'm working with is uh, 11.5. 11.5. So this is the waist measurement I'm working with. Okay. So this is what the palazzo will be looking 
this one we have for the palazzo this is from the for, this is for the front panel of our palazzo this is for the front panel this for the front panel if you are making a straight pants if you are making a fitted pants what you will just do is to come over to this point you are going to note the midpoint you know i have 12 here i have 12 inches here you're going to note the midpoint which is six you take this six all the way down you take this six Take it all the way down. You use your ruler to connect the points together. Use your ruler to connect together. Then if you are inserting your new measurements, if you are inserting your new measurements, okay, let's say my new measurement is uh, 18 inches. So I'm going to take half of 18 on this side and the other half here. So I'm uh, 18 divided by 2, that's 9 inches, okay? So 9 divided by 2, that's 4.5. So I'm going to take 4.5 here and 4.5 yeah i'm going to take 4.5 on this side and 4.5 on this side okay so if i'm taking the ankle measurements the ankle my ankle measurement is of 13 inches so i'm going to take the half of 13 inches half of uh, this uh, is 6.5 so half of 6.5 will be three and quarter half of 6.5 is three and quarter i'm going to take three and quarter on this side and three and quarter on this side okay so we'll be connecting now we'll connect So we're going to take our hip, uh, hip measurement here. We'll be taking our hip measurement, which is a uh, 12.
So this is for if you are taking a straight pants, if you are taking a fitted pants, this is how to draft the fitted pants. So this is the fitted pants. I'm going to cut out. Then you include all allowance to the back panel. We're going to include all the allowances to the back panel. So we're going to cut out. We're going to cut this. Then to the that's that for the fitted. But I'm making a palazzo jumpsuit. So I'll be cutting this. I'll be cutting this. I'm not cutting this, but I'll be cutting this because I'm making a palazzo jumpsuit. Okay, so let's cut out. So to cut out for my back panel, I already have my fabric um, and I place my front panel on it. So at these upper parts, I'll be increasing it by 1.5. At these upper parts, I'll be adding 1.5 inches. I'll be leaving increasing it by 1.5. You know, because of the back bone. We want to give room for it at the at the upper part. I'll be increasing it by 1.5. Also at this at the side. We'll be taking On this crush line, on the crush line, let me bring it closer. On the crush line, I'll be increasing it by three inches. I will be increasing it by three inches on the crush line. I have the three inches here. I'll be increasing it by three inches on the crush line. And I'm going to connect this way. I'll take my ruler to connect to this point. So on the side, I'll be adding my allowance of two inches. I'll be adding two inches allowance to it. So this is what our back piece look like. This is now for the back piece. Okay. So I'm going to cut out. I'll be cutting it out now. So this is now for our front piece and the back piece. 
this is now how our front face for both the front and the back panel so i'm going to take it to the sewing machine to start uh working on it i'll start sewing okay thank you so very much for staying with, with me till this time if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please kindly subscribe like and share my videos and to my subscribers once again i say thank you thank you god bless you stay blessed till we meet on our next uh, tutorial bye